Book 13 of the Odyssey by Homer begins with Odysseus finishing his tale to the Phaeacians. King Alcinous is deeply moved by the epic narrative and decides to provide Odysseus with more gifts and a safe passage to his homeland Ithaca without delay. Alcinous orders his subjects to bring treasures to his ship and provides a feast in Odysseus's honor. After the feast, the guest is escorted to the ship, where he falls into a deep sleep. While he sleeps, the Phaeacian sailors row the entire distance to Ithaca, just as day is breaking. They disembark Odysseus from the ship, still sound asleep, and his sleeping state allowed the Phaeacians to unload their gifts without his knowledge. The Phaeacians then set back on their way home. Meanwhile, Odysseus wakes up but does not recognize his surroundings due to a mist that Athena placed to hide the island of Ithaca from him. Feeling disturbed and suspicious about the Phaeacians' intentions, he curses the people who he suspects have tricked him. He starts assessing and counting his treasures and realizes they are all there. The goddess Athena then appears to Odysseus in the guise of a shepherd. Odysseus attempts to conceal his identity, but the goddess admonishes him for not recognizing Ithaca and reveals her true identity to him. Overshadowed with joy, Odysseus kneels before the goddess and expresses his gratitude. Athena then dispels the mist so that Odysseus can see his homeland again after twenty years of absence. Odysseus is overjoyed to see his homeland again, but Athena reminds him that he still has enemies in Ithaca. Hence, they plot a strategy and decide to disguise Odysseus as an old beggar to protect him from his wife Penelope's suitors. This strategy is meant to give Odysseus an advantage over the suitors who have indulged in his wealth in his absence for years. Alone at last with Athena, Odysseus narrates his journey homeward from Scheria. Athena tells him he must disguise himself against the suitors who are currently residing in his household. With a touch of her wand, she ages him almost beyond recognition and changes his royal robes into rags. Odyssey Book 13 ends with Athena setting off for Sparta to summon Telemachus, while Odysseus goes to the hut of his loyal swineherd, Eumaeus. This sets the stage for the next part of the epic story, in which Odysseus will return home and face the suitors who have been courting his wife.